So yeah, it's a little bit tricky to get in here. You gotta cross this little narrow bridge. It's the, uh, it's the river you can raft down. And then you just hang it right, right here on uh, 106. Right, and then you'll see uh, parking signs uh, knocked down, but it's a brand new parking and plenty of space. Plenty of space. All right, so today I'm at St. Combe, Quebec, and I took the drive up to check out this little trail network called, let's see if I get this right, uh, is Louis Philippe de Grand Pré, and it's uh, kind of a newish trail system that the uh, municipality uh, worked on, kind of taking like legacy trails, like mountain trails, and kind of converting them into mountain biking and uh, hiking trails. So I'm going in with uh, neutral expectations, but um, you know, you never know what you're going to get, and that's why exploring stuff is uh, fun. That's why I do it. And it's also nice to always have new trail networks to uh, to try out. So it's really nice of the town to do that. There's no uh, charge to ride here. So another thing too is the town of St. Combe is, uh, it's a really cute town, even if you're not coming up here to uh, ride or do any activities. Uh, it's worth the trek just to come out for tourism and to uh, relax for a weekend or a day or two. Um, it's very scenic. Like most small Quebec towns, it's, it's very stereotypical small Quebec town. It's got the uh, kind of old homes and kind of the more pioneer style homes. Uh, some of them, you know, people have converted into restaurants and uh, things like that. So it's got a little bit of a touristic feel. It's not very big, but uh, again, yeah, it's a nice little place. And uh, there's a reason why they uh, call it La Belle Province, because it really is a beautiful province. All right, so there was some other stuff I wanted to talk about, just about what I'm doing with uh, kind of the, all the videos that I'm sharing and kind of whatever you want to call it, my channel. But uh, I'll leave that for another video. I think for now I'm going to go get my gear and, uh, you know, we want to uh, go ride and uh, check this place out. So let's get on our pedals and uh, let's get going. Catch you in a bit. All right, so St. Cone, Quebec is about an hour and a half north of uh, Montreal. Montreal's right here. And if we pan up, St. Combe's right around here. So switching to Trail Forks, the uh, trail network looks a little something like this. The village of St. Combe is right here. And the trail system is built on these uh, mountains right here, just a little bit north of the town. So if we spin it around here, I'm parked right here in this massive parking lot. Uh, I thought there was another place to park right here, but uh, apparently as we'll see later, there's no parking sign. So this is uh, no parking here. You can still get in this way though. All right, so there's two trail options to get into the bulk of the trail network right here. So you have this uh, green trail right here, Clemence, and you have a blue one down here called Mediation. And the first one I was gonna try was gonna be Clemence. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be very good. I thought it was probably just going to be flat and sandy, but it was actually a really nice trail. It's probably one of my favorite trails there. So there's a little bit of a climb to go up. And then the uh, back half of it, if you're going in that direction, is predominantly downhill. It's got awesome flow. It's an easy trail, good for beginners, good for families. Uh, can be done in both directions too. So you could be coming back, but if you're coming back this way, you're going to have just a little bit more of an uphill bias till the end. Alternatively, you can do Mediation. It's good both ways. It's a little bit more rocky, a little bit more technical, some more ups and downs, and it kind of follows the river. We're going to be taking this one on our way back, so I'll have uh, footage of uh, what that one looks like too. But right now, let's go uh, check out Clemence and uh, get moving towards the uh, the main trail that we're there. All right, all geared up, ready to go. So I want to hit uh, Clemence. See, first one I want to do, and it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like it'd be going this way somehow, some way. And then on the return trip, it'll be the uh, the blue run. Okay, cool. Oh, this is nice. Here we go. I 
notice in this region, the dirt, uh, there's a lot of sand in this area. There's uh, the ski hill nearby Val St. Combe. It's like the whole thing is just sand. So it's always a nice mix. So Clemmons is this way. Looks good. That's what I want. Yeah, beauty. Loving the dirt so far. Super nice. Take a little open that up. Give her a little open up. Okay. Moss going up. I'll go test. Let's do uh, let's this one. This is Klonos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This way. So hopefully my uh, trail forks will be working because uh, this morning it was super sketchy. Got in the car and <laughs> mobile was down. No internet, no phone calls. Turns out it was a uh, nationwide outage. Rogers, Fido, all the subsidiaries pretty crazy so nobody had any internet mobile anything well so off to the off to the left there there's a huge huge rock escarpment kind of a mountain here we go you kind of see that yeah this is sick man this is really nice kind of reminds me of uh of uh Saint Cabana but uh yeah, the mobile outage was insane. Nice little bridge. But it seems like I have 4G back now. And my trail fork seems to work, so I think uh, it should be okay. But the signs look pretty good here anyway, so. So I like this, a little bit loopy. A little bit, <laughs> a little loopy. <laughs> should say it kind of loops back on itself. You know, it's got some character to it. Yeah. Real, real fun so far. Pretty hard pack too. Right on. Right on. Yeah, this is great. Kind of tight, kind of twisty. Oh, 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 oh. Ça va. Ça c'est Clemence, hein? Ça c'est... Ok, ok, merci. So, we're good. You know, have your trail forks, sass locals. Right on. Ha. What a dope little run. So, there's a couple, uh, a couple trails crisscrossing, just gonna check my map. I'm still on Clemos, should be, but just wanna make sure. Bingo Bango, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, still on it. Got quite a ways to go to. This trail is actually really fun. I'm really enjoying it. It's uh, fairly deciduous too. Uh, the uh, trees and it's mostly uh, evergreen. It's like my favorite. It's like the nicest dirt too. Oh yeah, right on. What a lot of character here. Look at this. This is so beautiful. It's a beautiful bluebird day, by the way. Oh yeah. This way. Right here. So far it's uh it's just been good flow. Good flow. You're pedaling but you're not working too hard for it. So you always gotta like that. Yeah, 
that's as cool as that. I'm spending uh, two days here. There was kind of a lot of trails here, so I thought I'd try to split it up, but who knows how fast this goes. Might be able to uh, do it all in one day, I don't know. flat here in this section. Okay. Just gonna try to reach out to, uh, oh, I'm gonna your section. Okay, so we got the uh, Stagiar, Clamance, Clamance where we just came from, Stagiar is that way. And then we also have a little map set up right here. I don't know if I see that, but uh, so, so far I like it. I'm gonna check my map, make sure I'm going on the right way, but I think it's gonna be uh, Stagiaire going that way. I think Stagiaire is a big loop that goes around. So, so I'll do a quick uh, map check and fire back up. All right, so if we zoom in here, we're right at the uh, end that connects with Stagiar. We wanna get down to, right down here to Kebina. So you can take either way, left or right on Stagiar, and uh, you work your way down to Kebina right here. And eventually we just wanna make our way down to this climbing trail right here, Innocence, and that'll give us access to the rest of the trails here. Okay, so I'm just gonna take uh, Stagiar going this way. You can do a big loop. This is a big loop and you'll come back around here. But I want to go this way because I want to hit some of the other trails uh, on the other side of the mountain. That'll bring us there. So, let's go. Um, just before that intersection, I was going to say I wanted to... My goal with this place was try to get a few... Uh, a few peeps or a few people to come ride. But, you know, it's so hard to schedule stuff. But I think uh, that's one of my goals for moving forward with riding kind of want to want to try to uh, ride with more people it's uh, just a different dynamic you know but of course it's always hard to it's hard to uh, you know organize it and schedule things right so I'm off and alone Ooh. Oh, is this going up Okay, so yeah, I think we want to go down here. That uh, mediation, yeah. So we're gonna take this way to go back. Uh, when we come back after, we're gonna go down here. Fairly simple. And that should come down onto cabinet. Okay, so that last turn, it wasn't actually right. It was uh, a left, so I'll edit that in video. I'll put a marker there. And then what happens is you come right here and see the arrow. So this is the way to go. You just uh, follow the arrow. Not that difficult. And uh, yeah, just give her here. And then, here we go. So we got uh, cabinet, cabinet. Okay, now we made it down to uh, cabinet right here. I want to personally hang out right here to get to some of the other stuff on the, uh, the other mountain top there. So, let's give her. Yeah, I just love the ambiance in here. It's I just love pine forests. 
All right, got a little uh, skinny. Let's try that out. So, let's try this out. Careful ease, he does it. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> nice little feature. All right, so there was that uh, skinny right here. Then we're gonna keep moving forward and head up the switch box here on Le Nausens. And that'll bring us even further into the trail network here. All right, so after that skinny, just leads us into this other trail we wanna take called Innocence. Innocence, and that'll bring us to uh, and the other stuff. Some of the, uh, the blocks and the, uh, the double dot and stuff. Go check out. Okay. Okay, I gotta check my map really quick. There's a little offshoot trail right here. You can go down to the river and check that out. But uh, I'm on a mission today, so just gonna keep moving on, uh, you know, sounds. Just check my map really quick, and this goes down to the river. So I think it's like, uh, you wanna go see the river? So we're gonna hang up, gonna hang up left here. And this should switch back up the mountain. So this is still on, uh, you know, sounds for innocence. Should kind of switch back up. Yeah, that's right. Okay. There we go, that's what we want. Tricky little section there. It's actually supposed to be 30 degrees out today, but it's such a beautiful day. It's not that hot. Haven't quite got the humidity yet in July. So now's the time. Get all the riding in you can before the humidity hits. July in Canada is a, a biatch if you're doing pedal power. So this is meandering up, but this is like, the grade here is pretty shallow. Seriously, nice set of switchbacks here. Oh yeah, burned up too. Halfway up, so how to berm. Okay. Okay. So you can continue up, you know, sounds that way. Or you can take Sermon that hits a green trail that I kind of want to take just to go down to the other parking lot, just to check that out. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of part of my plan to hit this one. All right, so we made it up the switch box on uh, L'Innocence and we're right here. And now we're gonna take this uh, trail called uh, Sakama and it's a super good trail. It's one of my favorite ones there. So let's go uh, see what it looks like. So it looks fairly clean. This is a blue Sakama sermon. Jump that. Let's get a feel for the trail, right? It's funny, because Trail Forks has this marked as uh, not really used too often, so it's like 30 on 100. Oh, that's cool. So if you look off to your right, or off to my right, there's the, uh, the river down there. 
and it's pretty far down too. Oh, that's like a cliff drop. Yeah, that's insane. So maybe about 10 feet from here, there's like a pretty much a sheer cliff on some of these sections. It goes right down to the water. It's insane. Wow. It's quite something. And it's probably like a, oh geez, get like 100 foot drop. Nice section. Let me get some B-roll of that. Great, so right after that climb, I thought I'd get some B-roll of this section. It's pretty gnarly. Look at this, look at the dirt. Camera. A frame. Okay. And uh, yeah. Okay, so in the next clip, uh, I'm going to be doing this little trail here called Juge de Grand Pré. And it's just a little uh, downhill section that goes into the uh, gravel area there. And then I'm going to come back up and hit this junction here to uh, get us in some of these trails to uh, go back up the hill. So this trail was fun. Uh, if I was to go back, I probably wouldn't do it. I would just uh, kind of loop around and stay right here and then get on some of these trails. But I just wanted to see what it was about. So uh, yeah, let's go have a look. So this one, I want to take down to the other parking lot. And we'll come back up here. Should I go down there? That's a little drop. Ooh, that's a spicy little, uh, oh geez. That's a spicy little roller, huh? I don't think I'm gonna do that today. Yeah, so this is the uh, south side entrance here. I just came down this. And uh, fortunately it doesn't look like you can park here. You can go in, but uh, I think you can park in uh, this area here. There's uh, no parking signs. So uh, I have to put the kibosh on that. All right, so in the next clip, we're gonna be at this uh, junction right here. So you have two options. You can take a uh, bateau or uh, audience, which is the easier one. Um, I'm just gonna hit the uh, bateau. That's gonna bring us over to uh, pro bono. And from pro bono, then we're gonna hit jurisprudence. So in the following clips, we'll see how that uh, is laid out. And then all these trails will eventually lead us up the mountain to uh, hit some of these downhill runs like uh, Santos and uh, some of these other ones here. All right, so I just biked back up uh, Jus de Grand Pré and we're gonna head to some of these other trails. But what we wanna do here is take either Audience, which is the easiest one, Audience, or you can take uh, Bajo, which is a blue. So I'm gonna take uh, Bajo and that's gonna bring us to the uh, junction for a few other trails that we wanna take. That'll bring us up the mountain. There's a big mountain to the right here, a couple hundred feet. So we wanna get up that. Drop, it's probably on now. Yeah, that's coming off of uh, the double diamond run. That drop. Totally get it. Yeah, so to the uh, right here is Santos. That's a downhill run. And uh, we gotta go this way to uh, climb up the mountain to get to it. So that's the next one I wanna take.
So now we made it to uh, right here to Pro Bono. Yeah, Pajol is another one that comes down and out there, but I want to take Pro Bono to uh, get to this other trail called uh, Je Prudence. That should uh, bring yourselves up to the top, or at least get our way up there. Where's this going? Yeah, right here. Okay, so I want to take that. Okay, so then just a little ways up, we're gonna hang a right on uh, Je Dis Prudence, and that's gonna bring us up a little bit, and then we're gonna hit some of these other trails here that are, are gonna bring us up uh, even further. Okay, so Pro Bono is that way. Je Dis Prudence is that way. Right. So we just hang a uh, right, right here. So far these climbing trails have been Freaking phenomenal. So, nothing really to complain about. So, that's some good work. Just kind of taking my time on the climbs because uh, I'm gonna have a couple ups and downs here. Just wanna keep some energy. Real gnarly bench cut. Got some pretty good vert to both sides. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So this will loop around. Yeah, nice cut. Oh, it's a little uh, more gnarly. Okay, so right now we uh, just kind of made it to the end of uh, Je Dis Prudence and we're at this area right here, this intersection. So I'm just gonna switch to the uh, topos to be able to see a bit better. Right, so this area gets a little bit weird here just because uh, to keep climbing up, you're kind of borrowing a small section of a downhill run called uh, Pajol. And this section right here is, uh, it's a little bit rowdy. It's a little bit, uh, it's almost a little too tough to climb. And then we're also leading up uh, on another trail here to keep climbing up to eventually hit uh, Double Identité. It'd be cool to see in the future maybe if uh, Judas Prudence was a dedicated climbing trail to continue up to uh, Double Identité, just so you weren't boring sections of uh, downhill specific trails. All right, so we'll uh, continue making our way up. So I guess this is a little hiccup. Uh, in order to get to the next climbing trails, you gotta take the uh, tail end of these two black diamonds here. So Pajol and Le Tige. So yeah, it's just a short little section there that was a little rough. I'm sure somebody out there can do it, but I'm not gonna be a hero today. Okay, hang on. Okay, so, okay, this is different. So Pajol goes both that way. Yeah, I'm gonna take Latige to go up this way. So here I'm just taking Latige and hopefully it's not too uh, steep. And I want this to meet, uh, there's another blue trail that's gonna climb to the top. So hopefully this one works. I'm gonna come and do these these trails full downhill. Let's get some video of these. The T's got some little ups and downs here, so interesting. Might be better just to uh, not do it. Maybe do casual instead. I don't know. Yeah, so we're just making our way here on the Tige. And I thought this was mostly downhill, but it looks like it's kind of a mix of both. And we want to hit this one right here. Double identity. So, ooh, that's kind of steep. Huh. 
Okay, so we made it to the intersection right here of uh, Litige and uh, Double Identity. So Double Identity or Double Identité is gonna bring us all the way up essentially the top of the mountain right here. The only thing with Double Identity is this first section right here, right here like that. It's uh, pretty straight up. Um, when I was making my runs up to the top of the mountain, I would just walk this section all the time. So it'd be nice to just have some switchbacks to be able to kind of keep riding. Well, you know what? She's kind of steep. Be nice, uh, really easy to make some switchbacks here. Make a big switchback. But uh, that's what we can do here. That's Pajol. Okay, so double identity is this way. This guy here is the uh, start of Pajol. I'm gonna hike back up after I do Sentence. I'm gonna do this one. It's not cachet. Nope. Let me do this right here. Okay, so this is just the intersection of uh, Vis Caché, and uh, we're gonna stay on uh, Double Identité. Later on, to get up to some of these other offshoot runs here, instead of going all the way up to the top, I would just take uh, Vis Caché, and that uh, brings you into uh, Reset Zive. So there's just two options there. In the next clip, we wanna make it up to uh, Sentence, so we're gonna have to continue on Double Identité. Okay, so I guess my recommendation would be for some of these uh, climbing sections, just make a few switchbacks. Some of them are a little bit too steep. They're somewhat doable, but if you wanted to pound out a bunch of laps, a bunch of runs, kind of want to make those ups a little bit easier. Man, it's just going down a bit. Skinny. So, sentence is that way. Right. All right, so we made it to the top right here. You have two options. You can do this uh, double diamond run, Sentence, or uh, I said Ziv. We're gonna do uh, this one first, and then uh, we'll come back up, and then we'll do Reset Ziv, and then uh, some of the ones that it leads into as well. This is Sentence. Ooh, that is steep. That is steep. Massively steep. Yeah. Steep like hairpin stuff. Wow. Bro. Okay. Nice. So it looks like it's just kind of a steep down kind of thing. Wow, man, that's some off camera shit. I would not want to do that. So we basically just came all the way down the mountain. And we got a nice little drop here. But uh, yeah, huh. Yeah, it's doable. It's doable, I'm just not feeling it today. So it's about like a four foot. Just roll it at trail speed, and uh, nothing really there. I'm just, uh, yeah, just not feeling it today. 
and uh, doable, very doable. There we go. All right, so that was okay. A little too short. <laughs> too bad some steep sections so now we're just back onto the climbing trails I'll probably shut my camera off I want to go back to the top again and probably do Pajol and then I'll hike up again and do what I'd say probably the Keystone Trail here is uh Hesedib into Compadation uh, one and two and yeah so fire back up at the top all right, so I climb back up almost to the top and the next trail I'm gonna do in full downhill mode is gonna be Pajol. This is Pajol. First time on it. Oh, that was a bad line. All kinds of wonky on that one. Get some speed going here. Tight in these woods. Oh, yeah, this little table. Sweet. Come on. Give me some downhill. Oh, oh, that's just weird. Speed going there. Oh, I'm back down. Boy, that was short. Ha. Quick little rip, kind of fun, but really short. So now we gotta go back up. All right, so this time I climbed back up the entire mountain and I went to try out Chesedziv. So I would consider this like a keystone trail here. It has a few offshoot trails like uh, Requisition and then Compadition 1 and 2. But for the next run, I'm just going to do the full uh, trail, Chesed Ziv. Uh, it starts out kind of flat at the top and then has some downhill sections. There's a few little small pedally parts too. I would consider it kind of downhill bias, but aside from a few directional sections, uh, you can do it both ways. So you could climb up this as well. So let's go uh, check that one out. All right, so next is uh, Chesed Ziv. Uh, Just talking to one of the uh, volunteers here, actually the lead volunteer, and uh, apparently you can climb up this trail too, or most of it at least. Oh. And all of this is volunteer work on municipal land, and they're right in the middle of building a new trail now too, which uh, is right at that parking lot. The uh, main parking lot. Oh, this is going up. Interesting. Okay. So this D. Okay. Okay, so I guess this trail is kind of uh, a little bit back country. Move it up a little bit down. I thought it was kind of only downhill. Okay, so we want to continue here. Oh, nice. Wow. That's, like a... That's pretty sweet. Let me get a better run in on that. So you can split off there and go to uh, Exposition. Or you can continue on here on Exposition. Uh, Sweet. That's all hand cut wood. Wow. 
That's so nice, man. Holy shit. Wow, that's insane. That is so freaking nice. Okay, so we made it to around halfway down Recidive, and uh, you can split off here and take Caparicion 1. We're going to come and do that later in the video, and it's uh, it's highly recommended to do that uh, full loop. It's uh, probably one of the keystones here, but uh, for the rest of this clip, we're just going to be continuing on the rest of uh, Recidive. So I'm going to continue on uh, Recidive and just finish this, see what this looks like. Must have been a lot of work. Cut that out. All right. Uh, requisition, eh? So I'm gonna take the litige. Also litige. Yeah. Pro bono. Pro bono. Okay, so Resetziv just uh, spits you out down here on uh, Pro Bono. So what I did is I just took Pro Bono. I did the whole usual loop of going all the way around again up to the top. Alternatively, what you can do is you can just go up a little bit and then take Requisition. Requisition goes good both ways and you'd be able to uh, climb up that to get a little bit higher up the mountain, maybe climb a little bit more on Resetziv. So there's two alternative routes that kind of work in both directions but uh yeah for the next clip i'm just uh going back around pro bono going up just prudence the usual stuff all the way up double identité and then this time i'm just taking uh vis caché because the next one i'm going to try out is going to be recidive but instead of doing the whole thing i'm going to try out the requisition leg end of it yeah so this is good we can uh this will bring us all the way back around So this is uh, pro bono. It's gonna bring us back around to the climbing trails so we can get back up to the top. And I wanna do this and Ziv again. Oh, nose heavy on that one. There we go. Okay, so I'll uh, shut it off here. This is just uh, the same climbing trail. Okay, so I'm about at the top again, but instead of uh, going completely up this way, you can take a trail called uh, Caché, and it kind of leads into a recidive because uh, I want to do a recidive again but I want to cut off and take uh, try out this little uh, offshoot called requisition or acquisition. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Should lead into, yeah, let's read into it. Right here. Okay, so the next clip is gonna be acquisition, requisition. Let's go check it out. So this is, uh, it's a Divin to requisition. It's a short little offshoot. Let's see what this looks like. It's very long. Yes. 
Jackson roots. Yeah, you can probably climb this actually. Yeah, what's this? So this continues down, but I'm probably just gonna climb back up to hit Latige and then hit uh, requisition to competition. Nice. Right in uh, this is Xavier. Yeah, there you go. Right on. Okay. So yeah, we're just back around. So I think I'm going to uh, gonna climb up. Like uh, this I'm gonna do the tige down, and then uh, I'm gonna come back one last time. Then I'm gonna do recidive into comparison one, comparison two. And uh, yeah, try that out. So requisition brought us right into the tail end of uh, Recidive. And uh, in that last clip there, I was just kind of down a little bit on uh, pro bono. So in this case, I just climbed a little bit back on uh, requisition. So right from the exit there, climbed back up. And I just climbed back up to meet uh, the tige right here like that. So in the next clip, I'm going to be doing a little bit of Latige, but then I'm just going to cut off at uh, Double Identité because I'm going to go back up to the top again. And then I'm going to do uh, the Keystone Run, which is uh, Recidive into Comparation 1, puis Comparation 2, and it's a really beautiful run. So I don't know how the map and explanation is coming across, but I promise you it's not complicated. The trails are easily identified. They lead into each other pretty well. Once you get a feel for it, it's very easy to navigate. And hopefully this uh, video helps to illustrate some of that as well. So yeah, let's Let's go uh, back up and check this out. Just thought I'd get a little b-roll of climbing requisition because I just want to get to Letige and really not bad of a climb. The trail basically goes both ways. There you go. Rock section here that I took on the high side, which I should know. So yeah, fire back up when I get to uh, the teach. Okay, so here we go, stay right on the teach. Oh, no dabs. Rock line probably would have been best. Okay, right here. Nice. Oh. Yeah, it's like a little bit of up and down. up here. I usually just walk this. Okay, so this time we're gonna hit Esadive. Uh, when I get to the top, into uh, Caparicion 1, puis 2. So far back up there. All right, so this is about the uh, halfway point on Esadive. Uh, 
I already got the uh, top half on video before, so I'm not going to redo it again. Uh, I'm going to start right here, and this time I'm going to go into uh, Compétition 1 p So, see how that goes. Starting right here on the uh, board. Sweet little thing. So we're just hanging a right right here. So now we're hanging a Incident. Uh, okay. I want to finish off on uh, this before I do anything. This is uh, but it's you know, one or two. I don't know. What a nice berm. Seriously. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is fast. This is like the fastest trail here. Yeah, these burns are set up nicely too. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Not bad. Not bad. For a small amount of space. They're really working with, uh, oh, sweet. Right on, man. Nope. Oh. A little rough in here. Oh yeah, right on. So now we're back out to where the skinny was before. Right on. So I want to go do uh, incidents one and two. And then if I have enough energy, I'm going to do travaux forcés. So fire it back up. All right, so Comparition 2 brought us back to that little skinny area out on uh, L'Innocence. So I wanted to go take this climbing trail here called Incident, and that leads into a sort of a downhill bias run called Incident 2. So what I did to get there is I basically did it the long way. I went back up, did all the climbing trails over here, went to the top of the mountain, came down here, and then picked it up off of uh, Comparution R. But alternatively, what you can do is you can just backtrack on uh, cabinet, cabinet, go back, come out on the road, and then you can hike up the, uh, the road here, hit it that way as well. So in the next clip, I'm just gonna be at the trailhead of Incident, and uh, it's a bit of a climb, and uh, we'll go take a look at those two. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, checking out the uh, incident. 
incident. It's a bit of a climbing trail that'll bring us to incident two, which is the uh, downhill. So here we go. And I'm about done for today. That'll cover basically all the trails here. Um, let's see, where does this go? And then if I have enough, if I have enough gas, I'm gonna do, uh, we'll, we'll see. Pretty technical and jank, this one. This little bridge. is quite technical. Uh, alternatively, you can just climb the road up, but uh, I like this to try. Is it doing okay? And this would be a uh, nice down there. So, take a little break, and we'll rip down this one. All right, here we go. So, nice down there. This is kind of a, I believe, a bit of a downhill. downhill, shallow downhill. Sweet. Oh man, I almost ate it there. Wow. Sounds unique. Okay, so who's out there? Down in the gutter. Like, uh, okay. So I gotta figure this out, but uh, I think I'm gonna go try to hit the Tavo Fosse. That'll be my last ride. And now, uh, get out of here. So, Isda there brings you down right in this area right here. And uh, you can just take uh, cabinet out to the road. So, since I wanted to take Travaux Fosse, I just uh, hiked up the road and uh, got in the trailhead right up here. So, we'll go take a look at this trail. It was, uh, it was pretty gnarly. All right, so it looks like uh, you can just go up the road here. And, uh, it's uh, Travaux Fosse, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, call it a day after that. All right, save the uh, hardest for last. Commentary might be on the uh, the down low. It's because uh, I can just have enough gas to finish this up. Hopefully, you no know, leg cramps. Let's see how this goes. We'll go nice and slow.
Even watching the video for this one was pretty, pretty gnarly. Oh. Oh. This is gonna be slow. This is gonna be slow. Fresh set of legs, I might have pushed it, but I don't even know if I can do this. Apologize if this is kind of slow. But uh, it's about as good as I can do right now for the riding. Oh, oh nice. Oh, wrong gear. Wow. Talk about being too low of a gear. Boy, spinning my legs for nothing. Where it's basically just been up. Really freaking technically up. You going down now? Holy crap. Lord. Okay, okay, a little down. Oh, it's a little draw. Solid play. That's oh, an actual drop. Yeah, we'll be doing that today. Uh, what if I go right here? That's cool. Good to know. Shit, we're on here. One thing I hate is roots on flat. Just rob all your momentum. Momentum robbing roots. Oh man. Okay. That's wild. Where's that going? Whew. Whew. That's some wild shit. Can't control that. That is so freaking steep. That is like straight down. Crap. Uh, let's check my map, make sure I'm on the uh, location here. So, this is the way it was, but I'm not in the right gear. Uh, here. Pretty hardcore trail. 
quit some sections that double diamond. These are a little screwed too. Whoa! Oh, wow! This is so freaking. This is very technical stuff. It's very tech. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's a hardcore trail. Very hardcore. Very steep, these sections, too. Quick roots, off camber. I don't want to ride this wet. My legs are just dead. I cramp up any second. There we go. Done. What an insane freaking trail. Oh, I can really stand up. Okay. All right, see if we can make our way back to the parking lot. Woo! Okay, if we wanna hang a... Uh... Hang a left there. So uh, Travel Forcé spits us out onto the tail end of Insta 2 and then I just worked my way back to uh, Cabinet and then we're going to work our way all the way up Cabinet, uh, just a little ways up Stagiaire and then to Médiation and we're going to take that big long blue trail all the way back. It's kind of hard to say whether this was the best option versus going up and taking uh, Clemence back because Clemence is a little bit of uh, an uphill bias to go back except for the tail end of it there. But I think after having done both, after a long day of riding, I'd probably do Clemence just because it's a little bit more float. Like there's literally no rocks on it or anything. There's no real major climbs or anything too. Whereas uh, Médiation, while well, you'll see it's just a little more technical, a little more windy. It has a few ups and downs. So, so was it the best choice after a long day of riding? It's hard to say really. I enjoyed it, but um, something to think about if you're uh, deciding on which trail to choose to uh, get back to the parking lot. So let's go check out uh, Médiation. That'll uh, finish up our ride for today. All right, guys, so this is going to be a trail out. Let's go Mediation and let's do it. I'm uh, going to be pretty quiet on this one. I'm just going to get in Zen mode and uh, give her till the parking lot. Whew. Some toast. This one I think follows the river a little more closely versus that first one I took, Clemence. This one is relatively flat, which is what I want. Probably should have just taken one else back. <laughs> Even easier. I'm gonna uh, switch my shock to trail mode. Good. Oh no, no clams, man, come on. Whew. And you can see the beautiful river off to the left. You can see some uh, rafters on it right now. Maybe rafting and canoeing and all sorts of uh, things like that. Wow. 
nice trail, nice trail, but I'd love to be doing this with a bit more energy. I think it feels like it's pretty good going this direction too. Feels like a long way. It's like a lot longer than the uh, from Austria I took. This one's definitely more windy. Whoa! I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Oh jeez. Mind the hoy. Make this trail, let's skip this trail altogether and just do the uh, that original green one I took. So there it is. So that was it. The uh, the entire Louis Philippe de Grand Prix trail network done in a couple hours. I am spent. Uh, gonna go check in at the hotel and uh, see if I can uh, take a shower, maybe go for a swim, and uh, basically just pass out because I am done. Sign off. One of the things that I always look for uh, on a great ride is a place to swim. And I found this place right here. It's uh, just a little uh, kind of picnic area. And uh, we've got the river right here. And so yeah, it's not uh, every time you can find a place to swim, but uh, when you do, it's a special thing. And uh, how good does this get? Beautiful day, you got a beautiful river right here. Super fresh water after a long day of riding. Get all the sweat off. That's Riviera Assomption right there. It's so clean. It's so fresh. It's not even that cold. It's amazing. This is always the best way to wrap up a day riding, swimming in a lake. I want to jump in a lake. Sun shining down on a lake in the summer. I want to jump in a lake. A Canadian lake, by the way. Preferably Quebec.
All right, so on the topic of accommodations, St. Combe with its quaint and small appeal comes with the fact that there aren't too many places to stay, but there is a small hotel here called uh, Motel Hotel St. Combe. And it's just uh, across the bridge, fairly centrally located. And then if we move uh, a little north, basically right beside the uh, trail network, there's a uh, little campground if you have a uh, trailer or a camper. So that's a cool little spot to uh, camp out for the night. And you could probably leave right from the campground with your bike because the uh, trail network is right across the way. So I actually chose to stay at the Hotel Motel uh, St. Combe. And it was a decent spot, spend the night or two. Uh, clean room, comfy bed, all the basics that you would need. Definitely don't expect a five-star hotel or anything, but sometimes uh, the little places come with more charm and more character. So I felt like it was right at home and uh, enjoyed my stay there. So next thing on the list would be food. So after obviously a long day of riding, you're gonna want some uh, grub and some beer. So the cool thing is within walking distance from that uh, hotel is a little micro brewery right here called Trecari Micro Brasserie. It's a little pub slash micro brewery. You can get some beer, you can get some food. I actually had a burger and fries and I got a Belgian blonde beer. The burger and fries were amazing. Beer was really good too. Really, really enjoyed it. So I'd recommend this place right here. Again, called Trecari. So I'll put links in the description of all these places. Uh, one other thing I'll mention is there's an SO to gas up right here. And just up the road, there's a little grocery store. Closes at nine o'clock. You can stock up on uh, some midnight snacks and restock on uh, some supplies. So hopefully that's helpful in uh, planning your stay, either uh, solo or with families. Whether you're hiking or biking, the accommodations are quaint and cozy and I'm sure you'll, uh, you'll enjoy them. Hey, did you like this video? Most importantly, did you find it helpful and informative? If you did, so I set up a PayPal link where you can show support and gratitude in the form of a small donation of your choosing. That is gonna help grow the channel. It'll help pay for some expenses and it's, it's gonna allow me to continue to make these long form videos of various trail networks across Quebec and Ontario. Absolutely no obligation, of course. If you're feeling it, go for it. And if you do, I thank you. And it's uh, very much appreciated. Also, don't forget to hit like. That helps the videos with the uh, YouTube algorithm. And leave a comment, love comments, subscribe, the usual routine, all that good stuff. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching the videos. See you out there in the trails. Until next time.